Welcome to another interview session on literary pleasures. Today I'll be having Samuel Young Fong as our guest author. Samuel Fong, you are welcome. Malaysia. Yeah. We'll be interviewing him on his book, Unicorn Farm Hand. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. And after reading the book, I was really pleasure. I, I had great pleasure in reading it. It was a very interesting story. But before we start, let me give you an introduction of who Samuel Fong is. Samuel Yo Fong is an author and artist from Malaysia. Yes. He, he told me that he spends a lot of time on the internet and this has inspired his writings so that he enjoys making fictional words inhabited by dozens of quirky characters. I will put his, the link to his website in the video description so you can go through his website and find out the projects he's engaged in and even communicate with him. Now, I'll encourage everyone to watch this interview down to the end because the author will be giving out free books of his novel. So at the end, I'll tell you how you can get it. So let's, let me do a summary of the novel Unicorn Farmhand. The novel is about a horse, in fact, a horse that is more intelligent than your usual horse because it is a unicorn. The name of the horse is Dog Sao. It can write and understand human languages. When its owner, Changao, discovered this secret of the horse, he tries to make it hidden. But the community comes to discover it because this horse doesn't want to hide its talents. They made the horse a tourist attraction. But the horse has one problem. It is beset by nightmares from the abuse it received from its past owners. So it is trying to come to terms with these nightmares by writing to humans and have, asking them to come and help it. So that's the summary of the novel. Now, Samuel, let's talk, yes. a, let's talk a little about your website. I went through your website and I saw that there are a lot of fictional words. For example, the Rabidos verse. The Rabidos verse is a fictional word that is about science fiction, mythology, and alternate history. Please yes. te tell us a little about the Rabidos verse and why it is intriguing. The Rabidos verse is set in a world where influenced by ancient history and affected by alien invasions. Many years ago, aliens invaded the planet, le leaving behind all kinds of technology. Sometimes the people of that world used it and made themselves more advanced. For example, in the Eighth Age, which is thousands of years before the time of Unicorn Farmhand, six nations defeated a two-headed race called the Aspuruks. And they used the Aspuruks technology to, to explore other planets and find other humans. There are many people in the Rabudas verse worship many gods. And sometimes these gods intervene in, in their lives to protect the planet. Okay, that's nice. Now let's come to the unicorn from Han. The unicorn, Dog Sao. What I read in the story is that when I read about the unicorn and the talents the unicorn has, I got the impression that we are talking about genuses. That Genuine, people who are geniuses are considered to be dangerous, who have to be controlled. Did I read that right? Not necessary. It's not, not necessary. It's about sometimes you might be too intelligent that everyone might, might think you're weird. Okay. <laughs> That's true. Someone might be too intelligent and is is out of place. Now for Chang Gao, the owner of the horse, he, when he was asked to take the unicorn to a horse fair, he refused. And in that instance, we come to see something about his character, a sense of his character. We see him as an unselfish, modest, and humble person. And then when the police want to take the horse away, Dog Sao, he pays money to keep his horse. 
I would like to ask you, do you influence in your life by someone like Changao? Because I saw that you had some kind of sentimentality towards Changao. I don't know. I don't know what, what specific person was the influence for Changao. He is just a character I simply made up. But he but he really cares for Duk Sao because he doesn't want something bad to happen to him. Okay, that's that's it. Now I want to ask you a personal question. Do you consider yourself a gifted person like Duk Sao? Yes. Yes I do. Too bad that most of the times there are not many opportunities left for me. And some of them seem rather too difficult, even though I would like to give them a try because I want to live a better life. Okay, that's nice. Now, let's come again to the unicorn. I have something to say about the unicorn. The unicorn has a fear that maybe the abuses he received in the past might come back, and also he has not co it has not come to terms with those abuses and the humans they are trying to sympathize with the unicorn now there was an occasion when the unicorn was asked to burn the statue of a 18 was that symbolic burning the statue of a 18 does it symbolize that the unicorn defeated its face yes yes he want he wants to fight back against his fears even if he wants to stop them and he wants to fight back Okay, okay. So he finally defeated his fears, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. Now, what is the message of your book? What message are you trying to put across in your book? When you try hard enough, people will eventually understand you. When you try hard enough, people will eventually be able to understand you. When you try hard enough, people will aim. Do you have occasions where you have been misunderstood in your life by others? Yes. Yes. Some people think I'm too repetitive. Others think that others think that I'm too weird. Still others think I'm stupid. Okay, you know, writers are in a world of their own. They not only live in the real world, they also live in a fictional world. So those are the some of the challenges all writers face. So I really I, I really have some appreciation of what you're talking about. Now there are a lot of references to fan fiction characters, television shows characters, uh, popular culture. And Dr. Saul the horse watches a lot of television. Was a television watching part of the things that influenced the unicorn and made it very interesting character? Yep, because Dok Sao was able to learn more about the world. Because he's, he's smarter than other horses, sometimes he wants to know more about the world. So the television can, the television can show him things that are beyond the farm, beyond his hometown. Okay. Which adds to his love of knowledge. Okay, yeah, that's true. And the 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 study have an opportunity to experience the internet. <laughs> uh, what is it again? I, I said the, hear. the Saudi have an opportunity to experience the internet. I would have loved to see how what he would have done if he knew the okay. internet existed. Yep. So somewhere. I want to ask you, if you were deserted on an island and you were given an opportunity to take a book with you, what book would that be? I would just simply bring a large scrapbook so I can write as much as I want. I also would need a lot of lead. A lot of what? Lead. It is used for, for a mechanical pencil like this. Okay. Lead so I can write. Okay. So you love to write rather than to read? Yes. Okay. So, viewers, now we have come to the giveaway, the time for the giveaway. The author told me that he has limited copies of his ebook that he's willing to give out for free. So, if you want to read this novel, Unicorn Farmhand, 
you can go to his website the link is in the video description and write to him tell him that you want his novel unicorn farmer and he will surely send a copy to you to read or alternatively okay you want to say something i think if you want if you if you want a free copy you should ask me on gmail you should send me a message on gmail okay so it I'll, is what is it okay i'll post his uh do you, do you want me to post your email on the video description of course of course yes that's the best way okay so i'll post his email address on the video description for those who want a copy of it so somewhat before we end the discussion what last words do you have for our viewers i have two other books one is mockingston fair which is which is in america which is about about three people going to a fan convention to find their favorite characters and then they get caught up in between two angry mobs two of them being obsessed with their favorite video games the third is hayao gunner set thousands of years before unicorn farm it's about a pilot who ends up becoming a governor after facing several deadly trials okay i might i might share also the links to that i might also share the links to my two other books as well okay okay so viewers you've had so i encourage everyone watching this video if you have not subscribed to the channel now it is time to do so and also like and subscribe like and comment on this video if you have a question for someone for just write it in the comment section and he will surely reply you so some form i like on behalf of myself and my viewers i'd like to say thank you for giving us this opportunity to have some time with you you're welcome